What's going on everybody, and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are going to be jumping into Night Terrors Zatanna, issue number one. Now, this video will be uploading on Tuesday the 25th. Right now, I am currently out of town. And so, the new DC Comics that will be coming out this week, we will be covering on Thursday. I will be back in time on Wednesday so that we can release the Hellfire Gala of 2023. But with me being out of town, I wanted to give you guys something on Tuesday. That's when DC Comics releases, and so I wanted to have something for you guys to watch. Considering that Night Terrors is taking over DC Comics, I figure why not let's get caught up on some of the ones that we haven't covered. Yet. Now, this story is by Dennis Culver, drawn by David Baldion, and we have seen that insomnia has taken over the entire world. Most of the stories that we have seen so far have been heroes that are already asleep. In their slumber, they live out their worst nightmares, their biggest fears, heroes and villains alike. But in the waking world, we have Zatanna, who is still very much awake. But just because she didn't fall asleep, doesn't mean that the nightmares aren't coming for her. So make sure that you like this video, make sure that you hit that notification bell, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up at the Terrific Tower. We are picking up with Red Tornado. And right now, Red Tornado is trying to figure out what is going on with the world calling in any robotic heroes that might still be out there. Anybody that might be able to help them. But there's much bigger problems than people just falling asleep. Because with everybody going to sleep, this means there are tons and tons of emergencies. And while he is trying to orchestrate some kind of response, we see something happen to him. Red Tornado taken over in some way, shape, or form. That's what takes us over to Zatanna. We pick up beneath the Hall of Justice, and she is currently protecting Wonder Woman and Detective Chimp. The two of them have fallen asleep and they find themselves under attack. The attack is coming from the sleepless nights, living nightmares brought forth by insomnia. And right now, they are biding their time. They are waiting for their opportunity to break down her spell. This is where we have the arrival of the Sleepless Queen. Yet another weapon in the Insomnia Arsenal. And the Sleepless Queen lets Zatanna know that all they want is the Nightmare Stone. If Zatanna is to hand it over, they will grant all the allies that are slumbering a quick death. With Zatanna going on to say that she has no idea about a Nightmare Stone. They know that she speaks the truth. And so, the Sleepless Queen, she gives the order to kill all of the allies. Because Zatanna will still have her uses. But they believe that all the others are disposable. With Zatanna recognizing that she is outnumbered. That she is outpowered. In this situation, she needs some help. Believing that there has got to be somebody out there that she can summon. Someone that's awake and available. Not really a fan of flying blind with magic, but in this situation, she has no other choice. And so, casting a spell, this is where we have Robot Man hitting the scene. A member of Doom Patrol showing up, ready to do whatever is necessary. Now, of course, Robot Man at first is thrown off. Not sure what the heck is going on, just seeing that Wonder Woman is laid out. That she is asleep like the rest of Doom Patrol was. But Zatanna has no time to explain. Telling him right now the only thing he needs to focus on is protecting them. And was Zatanna thinking to herself that the Doom Patrol is nothing more than a distraction. That this was all a big mistake trying to bring somebody here that she didn't know who would show up. The only other time she ever encountered a member of the Doom Patrol, that was with Minto at the seance that killed her father. And so having a member of the Doom Patrol here, it is only bigger distractions for her. Because the truth is, she still has nightmares of that day. And if she didn't have to worry about Diana and Bobo, she would simply handle this on her own. But setting the what is to the side, she remembers that they have a magical panic room that they have contingencies just for situations like this. And so she instructs Robot Man to go over to the bookcase and pull a very specific book. In doing so, we see a secret door open up, a staircase going down, 
and Zatanna telling him to get Wonder Woman and Detective Chimp out of here now, with Robot Man headed off, Zatanna following close behind him, the Sleepless Knights descending down on her, and doing one last spell, we see the bones come to life. The monstrous bones holding off the sleepless nights. But Zatanna knows that this is not gonna hold forever. This is only gonna buy them some time. This is what leads them to the labyrinth. The enchanted maze. The one that keeps everybody out that should not belong. With Robot Man asking if he can be sent back now. Zatanna says that he will as soon as they ensure that the teammates are safe. But as they make their way through the enchanted labyrinth. This is when they run into Dorothy and Josh. And this makes Robot Man start to freak out a little bit. But Zatanna tries to let him know that this is just dark magic. That they are simply messing with you. They are trying to get inside your head. Zatanna knows that it is only going to get worse from here. Grabbing Robot Man, the two of them run as fast as they can. Getting to the doorway, Zatanna needs a little bit of time. Because opening this door is going to take some concentration. That means that Robot Man needs to hold off anybody that might come at them. But even Robot Man is feeling the pressure of this situation, seeing the people he has lost. While this may be some very powerful and dark magic, it doesn't make the feelings any less. This is when Zatanna gets hit with her own nightmare. The arrival of her father. And she knew this was coming. It was only a matter of time. But it doesn't hurt her any less. As she tries to open up the door, her father letting her know that she is a disappointment. That she's not a decent person, not even a good daughter. And while he speaks all of this into her ear, Robot Man finally has enough. He lays one right across Zatanna's father's face. And then he lets her know that we both got some very unresolved issues. And neither of them are currently equipped to deal with it. And so they switch partners. Zatanna takes on the undead Doom Patrol members. While Robot Man takes on her father. Each of them handling this very quickly, they are able to get inside. They are able to lay down Wonder Woman and Detective Chimp. Telling Robot Man that he can be sent home now. He's gonna stick around a little longer. The Sleepless Knights are still up there and Zatanna still needs some help. And so they head back to fight against the Sleepless Knights. But this is when the Sleepless Queen, she drives a blade right through Robot Man. Now lucky for him, he's got a robot body. But this was no attempt to murder him. Because Robot Man, he is being knighted. This is where we see the dark transformation begin. With Zatanna saying that she can change this. She can stop the transformation from happening. Robot Man tells her that it is already too late. He tells her to run. And hesitant to do so, she runs. With the Sleepless Queen having the Lord of Rot and Ruin rise up. We see the birth of a new knight. Robot Man transformed into the Rustbringer. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Yet another great issue from Night Terrors. This comic event so far has been absolutely a ton of fun. Now for the most part, what we have seen is the nightmares or biggest fears of our heroes and villains. From the Joker to Superman. But Zatanna is different. She was able to prevent herself from falling asleep. Barely at the last moment casting a spell. But even with her not going to sleep, the waking world is still filled with nightmares because of insomnia. Now we know that insomnia's powers in the waking world is relatively limited. But he has been able to summon these knights, monsters, and everything in between. And now we are seeing that they can spread this. Like an infection off to Robot Man. Turning him into the Rustbringer. And they are going to use him to hunt down Zatanna. And it's also kind of nice that we're getting to see her, but also we're getting to see Justice League Dark. I think they've done a really good job of spreading the story around to a lot of different characters. I mean, at this point, we've seen Robins, we've seen Batman, we've seen Superman, we got Punchline that is coming up. There is a crap ton of characters that are getting a little bit of spotlight. And while I believe that this story, this event as a whole, was going to be mediocre, so far it has blown my expectations out of the water. 
they've done absolutely terrific jobs of telling these stories, of bringing the nightmares and biggest fears alive. It's going to be quite interesting to see how our heroes are able to make it out of this. It looks like Dead Man and Sandman are going to be the huge pivotal point that is going to turn all of this around. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with Night Terrors. Be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.